Uh, the administration has been on the ground leading a coordinated, proactive response since the first day. We need to make sure that we are pre prepared for the worst case scenario, and we have been doing that since day one. We've made preparations from day one to stage equipment for a worst case scenario. All hands on deck across the federal government, with the states, with BP, from the day of this incident. Uh, from day one. All hands on deck from day one. Day one. Day one. On May 2nd, we leaned forward. We requested a large amount of resources that our parishes would need under a worst case scenario response to this oil spill. The very next day, we announced all of our coastal parish detailed protection plans. We formally requested 3 million feet of absorbent boom, 5 million feet of hard boom, 30 jackup barges to allow us to keep the soil out of our wetlands. Today is May 24th. We have received to date a total of 815,569 feet of hard boom, not even a million feet. 680,249 uh, feet of this uh, total hard boom has been deployed. 135,320 feet of hard boom sits and waits to be deployed in the last 24 hours. In the last 24 hours, we have only received 5,040 feet of hard boom. We need more boom. We need more resources. We need the materials we've requested to fight this oil to keep it out of our marsh, off of our coast. I'll close by saying we continue to wait a decision on our dredging sand boom plan for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. We have made the modifications suggested by the Corps. We've answered every question they submitted in the same day they asked their questions. We have shown them and the media pictures of the sand boom in Fushan that is actively holding the oil back from farther uh, inland traveling into our marshes. We know this strategy works. That is why I've taken matters in our own hands yesterday to do more of these sand fills ourselves while we wait on approval for the larger dredging plan.